Okay, I'm going to demonstrate a process that uh, gets asked about every now and again on the Mark Edit list. Occasionally when we get vendor sets of records or record sets, um, maybe that have been extracted from your ILS, um, there's an interest in finding records that have multiple fields um, for whatever reason, and or fields that, that, or records that don't have a particular field. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how you do both. So in Mark Edit, you open it up. We have two ways that we can go about doing this. Um, if you're looking to create an isolated file that is going to be separate from, that, where you're going to extract your records um, from a main file and work on them um, as its own separate set and reload just that, that, that edited set of records, you can use what's called the Select Records and Extract Selected Records tool. Okay. If you want to work with those records within the batch file, separate them out and then save them back to the particular file that you're working with, um, you can use in the Mark Editor, let me open a test file, what's called Select Individual Records to Make. It's essentially the same window, but what they do is slightly different. If you work from the Mark Editor, it'll actually pull a subset of the records out, allow you to edit them, and then save them back into the original file as edits in the same locations as they were in the original file. If you work with the one that comes from the main window here, the Extract Selected Records tool, what it'll do is it'll actually create a separate file that has the records that you were looking for in that separate file and will delete, uh, if you ask it to, the records that you've extracted from the main file or will leave them there and just give you a separate file with, uh, with the particular records. So why would you use one over the other? If you're working with really, really large data sets, um, it probably makes a lot of sense to extract them into two separate records. And the, re the reason for doing this is it makes it a little bit cleaner for Mark Edit and quite possibly it'll be a little bit faster. When you're working within the Mark Editor and using the extract selected records, select individual records to make, it essentially is doing the same thing. It's creating within Mark Edit a temporary set of files that it will use to track changes and then save and merge back into the original file set. But what it has to do in memory is it has to keep a essentially a directory of all the records within your file and the placeholders where each one of those records existed within the, uh, the file system. So if you have a record set, say of 100,000 records or a million records, and you use the Select Individual Records to Make tool, it'll certainly work. You certainly can extract a subset of records and work with them, but saving, merging those records back into the file set may happen a little bit slower than, um, than a normal save operation because so much information about the original um, source set of records has to be retained by the application and the application's memory footprint will be slightly larger because it has to maintain a, um, a, essentially an index of all the records that, ava that are available including in an index that includes where records start and stop within the original file set. So. Um, that's kind of a, a rundown on, on the two functions. I'm going to work from the one, uh, because this is the, in my personal workflow, this is the one I tend to use most often, I'm going to work from the main window um, in showing how this works. So, in my example, I have a test set of records that have two 856s in them, and one record that has a single 856, and I would like to extract the record that has a single, that has, a, that has multiple 856s in them. Um, so let me show you what the record set looks like. Uh, this is the record set. Um, you'll see if we scroll down here, there are two 856s in the first record, there's one 856 in the second record. It's not likely that you're going to have two records. So let's go ahead and double this just so that we have a few more records. So when we run the process, we actually should be finding two records that have 856s, multiple 856s, and one that have and two records that have um, a single 856 in them. So we're going to use that file. So I'm going to go ahead and use the select ex extract selected records tool. So I'm going to go ahead and pull it in. So a um, little bit of information about this. So with this tool, you can actually search for the presence of individual fields, the presence of multiple fields, or if a record doesn't have a specific field in the uh, system. 
So let's let's look at what happens if you look for if you want to find a field that doesn't exist within your record set. So I'm going to go ahead and tell it which record set I'm working with, and the one that I'm working with is an already um, broken file. It's this one right here. So I'm going to go ahead and select that file, and the display field determines what shows up in this field here, the display field here. So I'm going to go ahead and pick a field that I know doesn't exist within this record set that we're looking at. And a field that doesn't exist that I know of for sure is the 999 field. So I'm going to go ahead and say 999 field just so I can show you what happens when a field doesn't exist within um, an individual record. So if I was looking for all the records within this particular record set that doesn't have a 999 subfield A, I could put 999 subfield A in the display field hit import and you'll see that in the display field it says display field not found. I can actually search for that text and go ahead and run that search and it'll select for me all the records where the display field wasn't found. So if I'm looking for um, a set of records that that does not have a specific field because I want to make edit there are specific edits I need to make to that that subgroup of records I can use this process to locate those records very easily I can now extract this extract this set of records um, make changes to them and then um, during the extraction process actually delete the records that I'm extracting from my field I'm going to show you how that works um, in one second so that's how I would do it if I was trying to um, find records that didn't have a specific field. Well, let's look for multiple fields. Let's say um, in my example here, I'm looking for 856's records that have more than one 856 in it. So I'm going to change the display field to 856 subfield U, and I'm going to import that file. Same file. I'm going to import it, and we're going to see in the import, and I, I use small URLs because this way it's easier to see what's happening when you have double URLs, MarkEdit actually takes the display field and if it runs across multiple ones, it, um, it uh, delineates them, it, it puts them in deli with delimiters in the display field. And you'll see what the delimiter is. The delimiter is a pipe with the word N and a pipe. So if I wanted to find all the records that had multiple fields in them, um, of the particular display type, I could just search for the word pipe end and go ahead and search that. And you'll see that two records have been selected, the two records that have multiple 866, 856 fields. I can then extract these records. I'm going to go ahead and export the selected records. It asked me where would I, would I like to delete the extracted records from the source file. If I say yes, it'll delete the two records that have been checked and, and then the only copy I'll have of those two records will be the one created in the export field. So I'm going to go ahead and say yes because I'd like to get rid of them. I want to create a subset file. I want to have the two records that, uh, have no, uh, that have a single 856 in one file and I want the one that have, has multiple 856s in another file. So I'm going to tell it yes. I'm going to go ahead and put this in test set multi and save it. The records have been extracted the files have been deleted. So it's going to create a file without, without a, an extracted file, um, without the deletes. It keeps a copy of your original file in case you have to go back and do something with it. And so now the extracted records have been created. So now I have two files in MarkEdit. So I can go ahead and look at these. I have two files. One of the files um, is, the, is, the, uh, is the set with multiple records. So I'm going to go ahead and open the multi set. And here they are. There's one. And there's two. So I have that subset of records created. And I also have, if you remember, the deleted set. The set that I created, the extracted without the deletes and that has a single 856 and a single 856. So I've created two files um, from my criteria, one that has the subset that I wanted to work with and one that had all the files, all the records in them that I was okay with. So when I'm making my changes, I can actually then work with, uh, so let's say this was a, a, a record set that I got from a vendor and I just needed to work with the 
um, set of records that had the multiple uh, multiple fields in them, I could extract that subset, work with them separately, load them into my ILS, and then deal with the next set of records um, and do whatever processing I need to do on those without having to worry about um, those those fields that I just extracted. So that's how you do those two operations, isolating records without a specific field and isolating records with multiple fields. Okay?